Hello, Wine Abbers. My name is Jesse Meekham, and this is podcast number 33 for You Need a Budget, where we teach you four rules to help you stop living paycheck to paycheck, get out of debt, and save more money. Today, we are going to be just dripping with metaphors over here. I am taking some scouts, uh, 11 of them, on a 50-miler down to... uh, Southeast Utah, and it's pretty, um, a yeah, pretty remote area. It's called Dark Canyon Wilderness. When I'm talking to parents, I've been calling it the Lollipop Loop, just to kind of sell it a little better. But we're getting all squared away, and uh, we've got freeze dried food. I've got a new backpack that I wish I would have had time to break in. Couldn't fit all my stuff in my other pack, so I got a big pack, uh, big backpack, and I, we've got the food packed, and I've just been kind of going over and over and over the list, just trying to be really thorough. And we've been double checking all the boys and going over their lifts, making sure they've got everything they need. And you just can't help but think that preparing for a week in the wilderness, where you'll be trekking 50 miles, is a lot like your monthly budget meeting. You're looking ahead. You're trying to anticipate the terrain, the water elevation, the temperature, and uh, anyway, so I've been thinking a lot about that. Water was our first concern, and it's the first thing we address, obviously. When you think about your budget, first concern is probably shelter and food, right? Keeping the lights on, keeping the kids fed, keeping clothing on their backs. Uh, In the United States, that is pretty darn easy. And what I mean by that is we have very few people that are starving, that are dehydrated, that don't have clothing. And for that, we should all be pretty darn grateful. But it's a necessity. It's something you should plan for. And yeah, you need to make sure those are dressed. Just like we are with the water, we look at it, we make sure we've got our filters, we know where water locations are, and we'll be just fine. Some things you have to take along to make, uh, make it even doable. You have to take shelter. And I was kind of thinking about this, like these are necessities we have to include in every budget. And I was calling them the fixed expenses. Like you got to take a sleeping bag. You know, you got to be warm. You got to take a tent because you need shelter. And they're just absolute necessities. So when you're looking at these fixed expenses that you have to deal with, maybe you could look at optimizing them, minimizing them to the extent possible. For example, I bought a cool single man tent was one pound, seven ounces, the whole tent, including the poles, the stakes, everything. I busted it out, set it up right when I got home, set it up in my uh, living room. And, you know, kids all played inside and stuff. And I'm just, I was amazed. I cannot believe how light the thing is. So when you have to drag something along, when you have to include something in the budget, what could you do to make that a little easier to carry, a little lighter load? Sleeping bag also. I bought a new sleeping bag. One pound, 11 ounces. My water filter, seven ounces. Anyway, awesome stuff. It's cool when you can, you know, use cool gear that's optimized. And Same kind of excitement I get when people have their finances optimized, I suppose. Same kind of excitement I get from the people that are doing the cash for the holidays program right now with me. It's just kind of a once a month check-in, seeing how everyone's out, making sure they can pay cash for the holidays. And I'm getting emails today because it's the first of June when everyone checks in first of the month and they're telling me they're halfway to Christmas and they've got half their money saved. That's awesome. Awesome stuff. So that's the kind of feeling I get with cool gear and also having money saved for Christmas. Same feeling. Um, anyway, just thinking about those things, you know, you're looking ahead and you're saying, okay, what are we going to have to deal with this month? What does this money need to do before I'm paid again? That question over and over again. And as we're looking at the backpacking situation, we're saying, well, we've got this elevation change. We've got these arduous climbs here. Um, We've got this medical thing coming up. We've got this dental work that needs to be done. How are we going to address it? The cool thing is you are not just heading off down into the canyon and then halfway through the loop, 20 miles in, realizing, oh, I don't have water. I don't have shelter. I don't have good shoes. That's how people manage their money, and that's why they're totally stressed out. What I'm hoping for when we dive into the canyon is that there is zero stress, that we all just enjoy ourselves, we're safe, protected, we have everything we need, and not too much more. So think about that. 
planning for a backpacking trip. I've mentioned that metaphor before, dove into it a little bit deeper today. But next time you're doing your meeting, what do you have to plan for? Just like you're planning a vacation, an itinerary, right? Just like that. You will feel better about things as you look ahead and tell your money what to do instead of looking behind and being surprised at what it has done without any direction. Until next time, follow YNAB's four rules and you will win financially. You have not budgeted like this. 